Welcome back guys, it's Preet's coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 317 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and talk about how annoying the Streamlabs change is, and how it's... I don't know why they moved the icons to the top left instead of the bottom left. And today's an interesting run. We start off with a way above average tier 8 because we actually start with Cancer. So our tier 8 still above average but we get a plus one fire rate insane it's gonna be insane late game we start with 10 bombs golden razor three hearts of health and below average damage but it's all equaled out or it equalizes itself and this is gonna be interesting um uh, i'm just gonna see if we can get out of here nope um i don't know why this is the second time we've started with gold razor and i feel like the last 10 runs gold razor is just not a super good item it's not bad i will say if you get like rock bottom or something it's actually one of the better like damage ups if you have a lot of money if you're having like a crit pretty cracked run uh but this is just it's just not ideal to start out with there's better active items but we'll just see where it takes us i mean it could be really really good um depends on what happens and i don't know if i get like death certificate I want to know what you guys think. What item do I pick up? So I used to always pick up C-section. Now I kind of always pick up uh, rock bottom. But like, I don't know. Both of them are just like easy wins. And I don't know if they like, if it's as it's the, if it's that entertaining to watch just those super easy wins. Do you guys want me to start taking different items? Start being a little bit more adventurous? Like start taking like Sacred Heart, just trying to go for cool combos? Or do you prefer to watch me just see how cracked the run can get? Because if so, there's only like one option for that. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh. Wait a sec. I'm actually about to, about to die. Let's not die. Okay. Uh, not a good item. Uh, not a bad item either. You can just charm enemies by hitting them with the pink tears. It makes us look sick though. So I kind of like it. Okay. We walk over here and we get the map. I'll probably take the soul heart with me. So I have red heart protection. That way I can go for my devil deal next floor without getting it like just taken away from me. Like it has happened before. Uh, but what else can we do? We have enough. Well, we could get enough money to be able to buy one of the items in the room. But I don't know if I want treasure map. It's not like that good of an item. And man, I remember when getting Haunt as the first boss meant like, oh, I have lost this run. This is the end of all eternity. This is this is the, the end for me. But now it's just like, Haunt is just one of the easier bosses. Now watch me get like killed right here by, by him. That'd be pretty sad. But I mean, you can just do like some pretty easy things with him. Like throwing a bomb in front of his path and like he just dies. It's a very good time to use a bomb. Let me tell you. It's kind of like the most optimal time, one might say. That was weird. I stopped talking right when the music stopped and started talking right when it came back. And what the heck? I thought that was supposed to drop three pennies. I'm so confused. Like this one right here is going to drop three pennies, right? No, it drops two pennies, but there's three splashes on it. But the one that we just did what the frick what's happening um i want any of this i don't think i want pl i mean placebo could be actually pretty beneficial if you ask me uh we could take it it could be decent do i want to take it is the question i do not know okay mm i hate pushing these they actually make me just like stressed out i'm just like why is it so hard to push you now, was there a reason I looped that one? No. And that was such dumb damage. Let me tell you, that's about as bad of damage that I could take right there. Now, because of that, I'll probably go try to pay out the devil beggar a little bit. Because, you know what? I can. And I might as well. He could pay out early. He probably won't. I can pay him off four times without dying. Do I want to do that? Probably not. I should not expect that. I mean, to be close enough to that thing. I've been taking really dumb damage recently. I just, I'm just shooting stuff. I just do dumb stuff. I just, I'm just playing the game. I'm, I'm just trying to relax and play, and it, this is what happens. I do the dumbest of things. That's all good. We'll be fine. I'm going to go to the super secret room, see what's in there. It should be here. If it's not, then I have no clue. Darn. We get some money. We get you. And we might as well go alt path. There's no reason not to. Whenever you're, like, doing a run... All path is just general, gen, generally the better path, in my opinion. I like living life on the edge a little bit. Put me down to two hearts of health. It make, put me in a corner. 
And you know what? I will I will succeed. You put me at six hearts of health or five hearts of health on the second floor. You know, I'm going to take every hit of damage possible. I will do things that have never been seen before, in, like in the worst way possible. I'll take a triple hit of damage from a single tier. Somehow. I'll, it's going to be a, a joyous occasion. Um, but let's see. What's new? Not much. I started playing Survivor.io. I don't know if I have talked about this at all. I can't remember if I did yesterday. But it's an interesting game. It's a very, very... It's like the worst roguelike ever. But it's such an easy game just to sit down and just play mindlessly. It's kind of fun. It's not bad. It's not good either. And we take Pyromaniac. I mean, Locust Horns would have been cool. But Pyromaniac literally just means, guess what? We're not taking bomb damage for the rest of this run. And guess what? Bombs also heal us. So now if I just bomb myself... We're going to be in a nice spot. So I did take damage right there. These guys are... Fireflies are the worst enemy in the game. These guys are worse. Even worse than the worst enemy in the game. Because they're big fireflies. The big kahunas. Nobody wants to deal with that. And I wish I could blow myself up into the secret... Or the curse room without taking damage. But I don't think that's how it works, sadly. And please be Wormwood. I want to try something fancy. This is just a bad room. I'm gonna take the pill. I'm gonna pop it, which is fine. And I might as well take the key because it's actually worthwhile. Please be Wormwood. I'm gonna try something. So you wait for Wormwood to jump and then you bomb. Oh, and I one phased it. Let's go. So it, it's a really hard strategy to do and you have to do it pretty precisely, but it requires you, as you saw, to drop a bomb and then drop a second bomb that it eats, which makes it pause in the spot where the first bomb will hit. And I almost missed. And I will indeed come in here, because why not? Oh my gosh. That is like as bad as it gets, but guess what? I'm taking this because I really want it, and that's about all. You might be like, take more stuff. No, I will not. Uh, We'll put this on here. I did see it says grass will allow you to go into these rooms. And GG. I cannot get death's touch. I don't think I can. Unless I can bomb myself in there somehow, is there a way for me to bomb myself across? Is the question. I don't think there is. I do want to go to the curse room because curse room sounds like a great time. Because why not? Curse room was the worst time, I'll be honest. Expected better. You know what? That one penny kind of made me think a little better of it. Let's pay you out pay you out and then we will do this i'm gonna try to double bomb myself into the room into that little area also i do not want to take small toe with me if i don't take cancer with me i'm gonna be the laughing stock of the eighth grade and let me tell you that's not the situation you ever want to be in if i get small enough i might be able to run out of there i love bombing myself can i tell you guys that it is one of the most joyous occasions in all the metaverse okay good let's go find i think we know where the super secret room is and i still want to try to bomb myself i feel like a double bomb is not going to help me whatsoever i can't even double bomb myself right now oh i can double bomb myself right now balls of steel oh my goodness and you might be like what's a double bomb i don't know I'm just making terms up. I just want to see if I can get this somehow. Is there a way that I can bomb myself? Oh, I don't even get like knockback off of that. You know what? That's fine. I really want a death touch. But halostasis is not even a good compromise, but I'll take it. You know, that's about where I'm at right now when it comes to this. Anyway, survivor.io. The issue with it is there's two categories of items. There's items and then there's like a, there's like weapons and then there's items and there's like six items and like seven or eight equipments and like they all lead to the they there's not like a good array of things you can get because you have six weapon slots. There's actually probably like 10 weapons, 10 weapons and like 12 items, something like that. But there's not that many slots for you to get stuff. So let's do that. That is going to be a crawl space. Um, and like the levels aren't that different, but it is just such a, a mind numbing game that is kind of fun to play. So like, if I'm like ever just like sitting down doing nothing, I'll just sometimes play it. Like I was in bed the other night, I was not able to sleep. So I was just playing that. 
and it was so mind-numbing that it did actually make me more tired. So you know what? Kind of legit. Also, if you don't know, there there was the reason why I thought the double bomb might work is because back in I think uh, Afterbirth Plus, there used to be this thing that people would do where they would use two bombs in a crawl space to actually get themselves into the uh, into the black market, but it required you to drop a bomb, leave the leave the crawl space. But like it's like drop the bomb, immediately leave the crawl space. As soon as you get back in, you have a reset for the bomb. I'm actually gonna try to do it. I'm actually gonna try to do it right now. So the way it worked was, it's not gonna work right now, but you would, give me one sec, I'll show you. You drop a bomb and then you would go here and drop another bomb and you would get flown outside of the area into the black market. Cause if you guys don't know, if you go out the borders of the crawl space, you will always go to the I am air room actually. I think it used to be the black market, but now it's the I am air room. I think there was no I am air room for a while. I'm trying to remember what exactly happened, but there was, it was a terrible time at the beginning of repentance. Things were broken. Nobody knew what was going on. And hopefully I can get a double deal on this floor. Okay, please stop farting. Everybody's gonna die because of it, but I still don't like it. We wanna make sure we get all this. Yeah, today I did also have work. Work was something, let me tell you. Today I worked at a different Mathnasium than I usually work. It's the one I usually work at on weekends. And because it was like a downpour, rainy day today, it took me like an hour and 10 minutes to get there. Which is pretty gross to have to like drive on just a random day. Now, did I know I was driving there? It wasn't like random per se, but still, it was like, it was, it was rough. I was not the most enthusiastic about that drive. Also, I'm going to fight... I'm going to go to the mirror room, I feel like. for Actually, I just need to find the item first. That's the first goal. Um, but it was actually a super... It was a super good day. I'll grab that bomb when I'm in ghost form. It was a super good day. I had a private session with this girl who was doing, like, trig stuff. And let me tell you, I kind of completely forgot about trig. Uh, the, the center coordinator was like, hey, make sure you freshen up on it. I'm like, I'll be fine. And the thing is, I was fine for the most part. I just needed to look up, like, okay, I know, like... I just asked him like you use lock like, sign for this right and you'd be like yeah I'm like okay cool that's what i thought i wasn't quite sure also do i want to do technology yeah okay please 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 let this be the secret room oh my gosh oh my gosh okay well i'm actually like kind of disappointed right now now, I will actually go fight the... I'll go up here first. Like, what do I take right now? Also, why does this technology look weird? Because I feel like the only right choice is to take rock bottom. I am just going to try to full clear so I can get as many goodies as possible. I need to not, like, accidentally walk into the wrong item. You know, you know. Those are all fine, but they're not great. Godhead is fun, but not great. We have technology, which could pair well with some stuff. Technology would not be that good with Tech X. Wouldn't be that good with like any of that. Twisted Pair is fun, but I don't really want Twisted Pair. It's just like rock bottom just kind of makes the most sense. Now some people, I still don't understand. Anybody who is like a fan of Glowing Hourglass or Crown of Light, so Crown of Light gives 100% damage up, which is two times damage, if you guys don't know. Um, you get less shot speed and deactivates when you take damage. The one person who told me to take that over Sacred Heart, I still think about you to this day, about just how ridiculous of a of an idea that is. Like, I'm not trying to criticize that person. I don't remember who it was, but like, it is rock bottom. I just want to know if that person is like good at Isaac and like trolling me, good at Isaac and just is just doesn't understand the items or is just bad at Isaac and thinks they're good at Isaac and thinks that's actually the correct idea. But I'm not like a gatekeeper. I don't think you have to be the best Isaac player ever. That's not the point of this game. This game is supposed to be made to have fun. Also, this is a weird room. Um, but I don't know. It is just perplexing to me when that person said that. Some, some person might come to the comment saying, but he's kind of right. I don't think there's ever a time where you're right. You don't get homing. 
All you get is two times damage, and it's less than the 2.3 times damage. So I could make everybody really mad and just take a really bad item. The thing is, I don't, I feel like I don't have any like really weird stat changes right now. Some people would say, shouldn't you just take Sacred Orb because it would make it so you get better items? The thing is, if you're still getting quality two and three items, is it really good items? It's like, look, quality four. You really want this, but it doesn't really increase the chance that much. Sanguine Bondo, sure you won't get that, but you'll still get like Swarm, you'll still get Azazel's Rage. So yeah, you'll most likely get, I mean, you'll still get quality two items, which is the thing. Like you'll still get like Vanishing Twin, so like some of these like not as good items. It'll sometimes reroll Bloody Gust, which why would you want that? Asaw Jr., like Jar of Asaw, you don't want that. Ventral Spirit, good, that should get rerolled. I don't know. Uh, Arc, he would be interesting, I guess, but we don't want it. I could take Genesis, be a be a little bit of a, a troll. I could take Lost Soul. I could take one of the shovel pieces and be unable to get the other. That would be kind of hype. And why am I full clearing? Because I'm trying to get all the consumables. I think there's like, I, I see most items in a run. If there's an item I don't usually see, then I probably don't even care about it. I think right here we just go get rock bottom again. I'm sorry guys, but this is the way. This is the way like, good old Jesus Cristo wanted it. He wanted us to hit rock bottom. Just so we could only go up from here. And yes, I know we have to rebomb this now. I did waste a bomb, but I thought about that. I was like, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. And look at this. We don't actually have any stat increases from rock bottom. That's the thing about rock bottom. Is it's one of those items that doesn't immediately improve your run. So is it really that good? I mean, sure, it, is, it can be very good, but like if you're in a pinch, rock bottom is not the item to take. If you're in a pinch and you're like, I need stats, I need something now, take anything but rock bottom. Like mainly take Sacred Heart. Actually, no, take C-Section. C-Section was nerfed, but like not enough for it to be bad or anything. Hey, stop that twisting. I don't like when you're at the top of the room. It actually makes things a little unfair. Like, I, I want to be over here. You always twirl to from left to right in the counterclockwise direction. Like, watch. He's about to do it. He's about to go crazy. Hey, he's about to do it. He's about to go crazy. Watch. Oh, he's not doing it. And look at this. If I get hit right now, I don't gain anything. If anything happens, I don't gain anything. I can't even bomb myself to damage myself if I had a damage item. I'm just all I will always be just the most anti rock bottom person, but still a very pro rock bottom person. Just because people overhype it so much. People just don't understand it. The reason why I like it now is because I understand it. I understand what it does. I understand what it will do no matter what, which is why I care about it. Um, do I want to fight? Do I want to do something dumb? I feel like I might just want to do something dumb. I will buy this card. The Magician gives me a permanent range up, which is kind of cool. I'll take you. I don't care about the damage items. I don't care about most of these things. I have some money in the donation machine right now, which is kind of a crazy concept. Also, where's the white fire? Here you are. Okay. We are going to come down here. And the reason why we're doing this is just in case, and this is just a very weird just in case, just in case we do get the devil deal and want to take an item from the devil deal for free. Now, if there's multiple items in there that I would have wanted, this is just a big L. Now, this could also just not work. This is one of the first times I've not taken damage from this guy when fighting him. I'm actually quite impressed. I just took 2.9 damage. That's really bad. I forgot why I didn't want to come in here for a second. And look at that. Uh, we'll take you. We'll take you. And please let me just stay in Lost Form. I don't stay in Lost Form, but it turns out to not even matter whatsoever. And how did we get two non-guppy items? That's actually crazy. You know what? I'm using it. And I think... I don't think I want to use this. A single use will make it so I'll probably see it again. And I don't know if I ever want that to be a thing. All this does, it doesn't actually help me. It doesn't actually do anything. I could have a run. I don't know. I want to, I want to lose this run. Um, I 
Yeah, I just don't want to use magic skin. I don't think it's worth it whatsoever. Let's go fight elsewhere. And I'm excited. It's actually kind of like a, a crazy concept. If if I ever was doing speedrunning again, I would want to see if I use. I'm excited. Could it actually make my run like a lot faster? Because it speeds things up, then I don't have to fight as long, you know? Because I think time goes the same speed. Oh my gosh, it's a golden troll bomb. Something unseen for ages. You know what? Maybe today's a mother run. Who knows? How will rock bottom affect me today? That's crazy that I was talking about Desert Tavik and actually got it. There was no intention behind that. That's not what was supposed to happen. Also, this might be the dumbest idea, but I can't remember what happens when you go into the boss arena room. On this floor. Does it actually give you another boss item? It doesn't. I should have remembered that. Okay. I need two bombs to get to the next floor, so no matter what, I am not taking using any more bombs at this point. I did find the secret room. I don't know where the super secret room is. I don't see any tinted rocks. I don't see anything super valuable. And we still have bad damage, oddly enough. Is there a rerun machine in here? There was not, but there was. It's weird that there's still enemies in here. I don't know. I don't like that. Got a lot of friends, but I got enemies, enemies, yeah, so sad. No matter what, this video is not getting copyright stricken. Ah, watch, 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 watch. Look how much damage it is. Oh my gosh. That was horrifying. That was the scariest thing that I think has ever happened in my life. I thought I was about to get double tapped straight to freaking the the worst pits of the earth okay please don't have anything too good that's literally three great items i am gonna go take damage for the rest of my life until i can like consume all those items and i'm not being facetious i actually want them very badly and i want to gulp this right now so is this a dumb idea That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. That that took literally. What is that? I have four hearts of health left, which means I took eight. I took 16 hits of damage before that proc. The chance of that proccing is not that low. Like it's actually pretty high. The question is, what other trinket do I take with me? Because like I am going, I feel like the Magnus just better. I'm taking this one. I'm taking it. I want this one. Little clot. Wonderful. Great item, actually. I love it with a passion. It's great. It would be nice. But better devil deals with more items seems really sick. Now, I do like broken glasses, but there's a chance that just it doesn't help me. And if there's a chance it doesn't help me, I don't freaking want it. And I could... Oh my gosh. Do I not have enough bombs to go to the next floor? Am I a dumbo? I should be able to get out of this floor still. Let's go clear this last room. Okay, what are you? Please be a good pill. Range up is sick. We actually don't get a range up because we already have as much range as we can have right now. You know what? Let's see. Let's see what you do. Nice, sick, awesome. And we need a bomb. Is there one in the shop? I can't remember. We'll go find out. And that's about the extent of everything I can do right now. We'll take you, we'll open you, and we will blow you up, and we'll blow you up. Why? Because I have enough money to do so, and I will actually get most of my money back from that I just spent, which is crazy. Crazy. Go up is fine, but I don't need... Actually, I'll take the speed up. It'll, I forgot we do literally have an item that says, if we pick that up, we will not lose that stat increase. Sick. Awesome. Oh, wait. We also have a little clot for the rest of the floor. Man, what a concept. Now, it's not like I could have used that anyway, but we'll no longer have Little Clot anymore. Actually, yeah, wait, what the, is it, wait. Why, why is Little Clot still here? Is it till Little Clot dies that we have him? I guess. Did I say, did I take Little Clot in accident? I don't think I did. 
That'd be a rough mistake. And we'll pop you. That is not a crawl space. Funnily enough, I will accidentally walk down that in approximately three minutes, I feel like. That is my that that's my bet right now. I'm the type of person to walk down there. With no regards for my own livelihood. I still feel like it's dumb that you don't always stay at max health. You should become invincible when you have rock bottom. If it makes it so your stats can't go below a certain point, your health should never go down. Like, tell me I'm wrong. Speed down? See, it doesn't affect me. Now I will never have my speed back up, though. Which is slightly unfortunate. Okay, I thought I was going to kill you guys faster. I keep on forgetting that I literally only have 2.9 health. Like, I, I am in the trenches right now. Fighting for my life to even, like, survive. I don't have any damage. I don't have any... I've not gotten any stat increases that are meaningful. So I have some of the best items in the game right now. Or some of the rarest items. Yes, I have Pyromaniac. I have Rock Bottom. I have Technology, which is a pretty good item. Makes me actually a little bit weaker, but I kind of like it. Am I struggling? Yes. Like, literally none of my items... I don't think any of my items have been stat increases. Other than my very first thing, which was... Um, cancer. Which cancer, technically we haven't, we still haven't gotten any items that are stat changes. I'll say starting with a trinket does not count as getting a trinket. That is just a extension of, what in the world? Am I, what, I don't understand how I'm using this wrong. We're putting on stuff on the ground, like I'm going to put it on this little mushroom in a second and it's going to be glorious. Can we please get damage? That's, that is one of the few things I'm going to ask for. I wish I would have kept uh, Golden Razor. And Polydactyl, you're actually quite garbage. Health up? Okay, Polydactyl, you dropped me a decent thing, so you're no longer garbage. One of the best things ever. Worm Friend? I, I will always say bad things about word Worm Friend. People who like Worm Friend, I'm sorry if you like Worm Friend. Worm Friend's fine. Worm Friend's good. Worm Friend's not Twisted Pear, and Worm Friend is not anything that I care about. Some people are so pro worm friend that it blows my mind they're like it holds things still it can hold bosses still i don't care i don't care does it help me win no it just holds things still i'm I, i'm just trying to shoot things i'm i'm playing shoot game oh oh watch this this is the play You guys thought I was lying. This is the play. This is the this is the line right here. Yeah? Yeah, we get a strength card. That's what I thought. I do want to save the strength card for a little bit to see if I can get, like, more stat increases at once. And look at that. I get this. I get this. I can fully pay you out now, probably. And it's black powder. Which is great, actually, if you think about it. Technically. I gulped. Let's go. And look, we are full on money. Okay, we are doing great. And I'm going to wait to use the strength card until I can, like, really, like, pop off and use it well. Because what you want to do is, if you have rock bottom, you want to use as many cards and as many books and as many things that can give you damage as possible at once. You don't want to use them all spread out because you're not actually going to get any stat increases that way. You have to use them all at once to get the max benefit from it. Also, I cannot find a stupid... Thank you. A super crawl space in a second. I'm going to wig out. There is a black market, which could be interesting depending on what is in here. And I feel like I just take some of this. I feel like Humble Bundle is good enough where I take Humble Bundle and I take you. I don't want Alabaster Box because I've already taken a Devil Deal, so it's not really that useful. I don't really care about Conjoined because it doesn't matter too much. I might get it later. But I want to make sure that I have enough heart hearts to actually take Devil Deals. Now, did I take probably a little too much there? Yeah. But Humble Bundle can be really good. And I think that um, Membership Card can also be quite decent. And it, what would be decent is if I stopped taking, stopped taking, stopped taking damage. The other day I was playing uh, Valorant with my friends. I tried to say the past tense of Snake Bite. And I said Snuck Bit. Which, I mean... To be fair, that sounds like the most proper way to say the past tense of snake bite. Tell me it doesn't, and you're a liar. I got snuck bit. Also, how do I not have flying? Like, I know I have nothing that even remotely means that like, I should have flying. 
I feel like I should. I feel like I've earned it. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Nothing in here other than a racer, which could be decent. I don't really want it. And what's down here? A health up and a damage up actually could be very beneficial for me to me, even for 27 cents. The reason why is that's one more devil deal that I can take, pretty, technically, which is pretty valuable. Now, have I found the item room yet? I have not found the item room yet. Have I? No, I did find the item room. And it was an active item, wasn't it? No, it was polydactyl. Did I really get polydactyl eight items ago? That's wild. That's insane. Don't think I'm dumb for forgetting I got polydactyl. I looked at my items. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I see, I see the top row of items. And I see that those are all things that I've just gotten. Listen, I deserve some respect. Uh, I feel like the secret is going to be right here. Nope, nope, nope. I do not have that much money. I would pay that guy out if I was richer. And have I been over here? I have been here. I feel like I've also been... I've not been here, weirdly enough. How did you guys not take that much damage? I did not get hit by a single one of these guys today. I am very happy and proud of myself. Can I go in here yet? Quick. <laughs> That's called the double cross... Uh, special right there okay i'm scared you're gonna pop off and i'm gonna be oh, oh frick oh frick get away from me okay taking damage down to one heart damage with all enemies in the room i don't care about missing page number two it's actually just one of the worst items in the game like i, I mean some people might disagree it just doesn't do much but this is a tier eight up which i think is new I think I'm um, oh yeah, it did happen in like I think the last patch where they made that a tier eight up, so now it's quite the item. And we are hoping that we don't get um the devil deal this floor. Because if we do get the devil deal, that means we have a another lower chance next floor. And we don't want that. We're looking pretty good. I mean so far. We haven't, we haven't not benefited from rock bottom so far. But where am I? By that I mean, we, we it's been it's been okay. Like it's not like it's it's not really changed things too much. It's literally just had our speed go up, which I'm not saying is bad. So I am gonna do this, which is actually quite good. We could actually get our damage up quite high. Yeah, we can get our damage up quite high. I am going to hold on to it because I do want to wait for as long as possible to make sure I get the highest damage possible. So I'm not really in like a situation where I'm like in dire need of better stats. Like I I'm I'm not doing great on stats, but it's a rock bottom run. We'll be fine. That's crazy. I did not want that devil deal whatsoever. This does get us give us a shot speed up, which doesn't matter. I definitely don't care about the devil deal. That's so unfortunate, but we take what we take. We take what we get. We don't throw a fit. On golly, Miss Molly. Okay, uh, what are you? A power pill's not bad, but I definitely don't want it. There is, a, I think, a specific order I need to use these cards. Actually, no. The order of the cards doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just very important that you wait and just use as many cards as you can together. It's actually really good. I got Polydactyl, weirdly enough. Lodestone's a very solid item, but on this kind of run, it's like no matter what, if we do it properly, like we'll have crazy stats. So it doesn't matter if we have an item that causes like our tears to float towards an enemy. One tier is going to just decimate an enemy, which is good enough for me. Also, if I get another curse of the I have no clue where I am, I'm going to wig out. And that is a that is a threat, a promise, and all of the above. I actually slightly dislike not knowing where I am on a floor. If you guys didn't know. You know what? This fits our pink aesthetic. I kind of like kind of like the look we're going for. Rock bottom was to fit that pink aesthetic cuz now we have a happier face, which when I think of pink, I think of happy. It's a nice bright color. It's like springtime. I'd say spring is honestly a happier time than summer. You might disagree, but like spring is like, "Oh, it's like nice out." It's not like too hot. Is it is it hot out? 
yeah, it's, a, it's, it's getting warmer out, but it's not like miserable. So that's why I think pink is one of the happiest colors. Purple's fine, but purple's just like secretly you're sad. That's what it tells me. It's also a sick color. We will just be getting as many of these keys as possible because keys are good. We don't really need keys for anything, but... Also, I want there to be a mod that makes it so you're invincible when you get rock bottom. That's just the most... The, mo the thing that makes the most sense. So why is there so much blood on the ground? What in the world? I know I hit a ghost with a razor and they died after teleporting, but that's wild. Uh, I might as well take acid, baby. It like right there. It's a hard choice of do I want to take the blind item or go for like something that can get me conjoined because conjoined with rock bottom is actually quite good, especially if I get conjoined later in the run, like at the very, very end, because it will give me a permanent like tier rate down. But I'll be good. So what in the world? What in the world? Uh, where am I going? Good. Nice. I feel like one thing that you just learn the most. Wait, oh, sticky nickel. One thing you like learn the most over time when it comes to binding of Isaac is how much damage it takes to kill an enemy. Like right there, I kept on like running away before the enemy was even dead, but they did always end up dying. And it's just because once you play the game enough, you know about how much health everybody has. And sometimes I'm just severely wrong. So it's not like it's like a super accurate thing. It's not even it's just blind guesses half the time. That's how you know somebody's skillful. I want you guys to know I'm skillful. Kind of the most skillful if you think about it. Nice. We take you. I don't care about anything that's happening here. And there is a dice room. And that is a tier that just got shot into my larynx. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, you know what? I want to come in here. I feel like this is going to be a two pip room. A three pip room, which is arguably more exciting. Tier rate up is huge. Range down does not matter. I can see forever is actually quite nice. And I'll probably only reroll the trinket. I'll reroll everything later, but for now that's good. Like yeah, we said, it's huge actually. And. I can actually take this trinket and get free shops for the rest of the run. Even though I don't have that many shops left, I have enough to where it's nice. Uh, I'm just gonna use the. I'm just gonna use this now. Cause it is. I just wanna see what this gives me. Nice. I feel like that was the right play. I do think there's some other stuff up here that's probably changed. Where is it? Where are the changed items? So do I want to go to Mother? Hmm. I could pretty easily. It's not a bad run to do so. It's not like the greatest run in the history of runs, but it could be. It could be the greatest run of all runs at some point. It's a distinct possibility. I still have the strength card. The strength card is a. It's only. A I thought it was... A, oh, it is plus 50% damage. It is a 1.5 times damage multiplier. Technically. I don't know why that scared me so much. I'm like, oh, I stepped on it. I stepped on it. I, I fricked it. Bad. I always forget you can just leave this room. Like, they really trap you in there and then... Give you those turret guys. And it make, they make you think that you're in danger. When truly you never really were. If I could just get, like anything if i could get sacred heart in this room right here and then just i could use the strength card and be happy mind for of course i'll take you temperance i will pop you and i, I i'm happily going to get rid of as much of my health as possible why it's it's a good thing for me to do and money gets longer i feel like i don't want to go to mother but i could this is my whole issue. I, think I could. I might as well open this up. Just in case I decide to. So I swear my tier rate just feels way higher than 5.2. I think it's just because technology sounds so, like chunky. It really just sounds. I don't know why that confused me so much. But my speed got so high for a second. 
I thought, I, for some reason, I thought that was relax, not X lax. I already found the crawl space on this floor because it was in that like first room that we found. Oh my gosh, that's a bone that will hurt me. How'd that not touch me? Oh, good. Please, can we just get like every devil deal? Just pretend that I was one of the few lucky, fortunate souls to get lucky and to get every to get goat head early on the run. You know what? That doesn't even matter. Why? I will keep making this mistake until the day I die. And I do have something that lets me see secret rooms automatically, so I don't know why I bombed that. Oh, oh my gosh, I wanted to... Oh my gosh. Yeah, just keep standing in that. You're sick for that. Oh my gosh, you're awesome. Nice. And it is just giving me every devil deal. That's actually wild. Oh my gosh. And it also is giving me... Backstabber, oh my gosh. None of these actually changed my stats, which is the sad part, but they're so good. Like this is just all just really good items. Now, do we have an a, a trinket that says, oh, your devil deals are just better. Yer does. That was some pro movement. Uh, I will do this and I will do this and I will just go, I might just fight mother today. This might just be one of those mother runs just because it's good. It might get better. Like we have backstabbing backstabber which is actually such a solid high high quality item maybe we press all the buttons already i hope we did good i can't wait to use I, i'm just gonna wait till like the very end of the run, run to use a strength card or unless unless i find a room with like another devil card or like more like an empress card if i get something like that I will definitely use all three cards at once, but I want to make sure I'm using more than just two cards. Like it would be very beneficial to me right now to use it. I would be at a point where I could just do floors very easily, but it's not going to benefit me like super crazily in the long term because I'll have a, a really weird high damage that I could surpass pretty easily. Oh my gosh. Can I stop like stepping near those crates? I swear the, I also forgot that I can still die from explosions at this point. Also, this is a slow floor layout for this. Okay, let's make you run over here. The door strat is the sickest strat. If you guys don't know, you get iframes when you walk through a door in this game. So, like, if you walk through a door right as the mother's about to hit you, you won't take damage, which is cool. We're doing fast strat because there is a strat where you do this, like... You can get like a free key or something, and I don't want a free key. Oh, free key? I don't know why there's a bomb right there. Never understood it, never will understood it. Stand it. And I, this is that right there is my favorite last room to have to go through. It is so simple. And I'm not doing good on health, but I will be fine. I promise all of you. Since we already, do, I mean, we, we're low on health because we donated health for the door. So since we donated health for the door already, we're fine. And there could, was there a black heart in that one room? I don't know. I'm not going to find out. We're going to Mausoleum. And Mausoleum is really important right now because we do have membership cards. So we want to make sure that we get every shop we possibly can get. And we can actually see the floor for once. That's absolutely redonkulous. Like it's, it's quite the concept to actually just be able to know where you're going. They don't really like you knowing that in the Binding of Isaac. Okay, good. Nice. Let me go back to talking about work. Work was good. The girl I worked with had, and had the private session with kept her for 30 extra minutes, which was pretty sick. I was just... Usually our upper-level students... Lever? Our upper-level students get uh, an hour, 30-minute sessions, but when it comes to private sessions, they're always an hour, which I don't really understand. I'm going to be honest. Like, what? I guess it kind of makes sense that, I don't know. If I'm working with them directly, they don't need as much time. But an hour and 30 was enough time for us to get everything done that the girl needed to get done for the test she had coming up. You know what? Honestly, 10 times better than Lazrags. I know Lazrags is actually pretty good. 
and it could have been awesome for me because every time I die I get like health or I get a damage up but I don't know I just this has been a very curse ridden run which you usually do get curses on hard mode so I'm not like saying that's surprising I'm getting those but it's just a lot of curses I expect better from this game look at backstabber going to town I wish I actually like made my damage higher because right now we have nothing that's helping rock bottom exactly at least I don't have a super expensive item that I'm just gonna have to guess if it's okay Wick. okay you know what that's actually sick I do want flat file you know what ladder's not bad I do want to see if I, I do want to get more money so you know what I'm gonna blow you up and I do want to get the seven cent item because it could be good oh my gosh we have a chunky sounding laser and you're 27 it's not bad it's just not good either I do want to take I actually really we can get enough money we can get it really easily because we can do this I'm actually gonna use the lose the yuck heart because I actually don't want it and I'll take you we'll get at least two more cents from this if not more if not and take you pokey go is actually pretty terrible i do want to get the one card but guess what i can go to curse rooms now for free which is sick i can actually go for extra free now actually and i oh my gosh i want quarter so bad i kind of didn't even realize what that was please be a guppy item actually a bomb item is just as decent i guess also, why did these blocks lose their spikes, but the ones with the red circles on them don't? I will never understand that till the uh, till the day I die. I'll say it. It just doesn't really make too much sense. I do want to go to the arcade before I go back to the shop. I want to see if I can get any more health or just get any more money. It's like our best bet of getting like a good item right now is actually through membership card. Because I really want like... I want and need a uh, sacred heart. But for some reason, this game's like, you know what? What you absolutely want the most is what you won't get. Have I knocked on the crawl space yet on this floor? Dang, I'm crazy. This admirer is not bad. Not good, to be honest. Not gonna like, once again, not be, gonna be an item that changes our run too crazily. And I think I feel like I missed a tinted rock. I was looking away from the screen for a second. It just seemed like I missed it. Good. Nice. This has to be the super secret room. Has to be. It's not. Like, I don't know. If I was a designer for this game, the first thing I would ever do is say, you see that, that cool room that has all the cool stuff in it that, like, you could just make out the idea that there would be a super secret room there? Yeah, put a super secret room there. Oh, that, act that would actually be so good later, but I just don't want to take it right now. And I'm going to do something dumb. Fate of the cards. Nice. You know what? Whatever item it passed, I didn't need. I'm better off without. We're actually just going to use the reverse strength card. It's another item that's so good, but actually doesn't give me any benefits. Also, I'm not going to pay out. I'm going to pay you out. I need a health upgrade, so I guess I need to pay you out. But the reverse strength card is just so like yeah, I, it's one of those things that's so good but so useless for us don't give me crooked penny oh gg go next i needed health that's fine i kind of wish i got fanny pack but fanny pack's really good when you have humble bundle it is what it is i could try to get a really good trinket out of the machine but do i care about that not really i care about any of those not really once again part two i'm gonna take wicked crown or actually no i'm not gonna take wicked crown what am i doing i'm going to mother most likely you know what i want this chest and we don't have spikes anymore so i like it and i don't like it and why do we do so much damage i know it's probably because of backstabber oh my gosh and spectral baby goes crazy Okay, good. Are we going to get another 
No devil deal. We do get mash book, which is fine. And just not the best floor ever. We found everything we needed. Next floor. Please don't have a curse. Just please don't have a curse. That's all I'm asking. Curse of the maze, fine. As long as I can see the like at least one of the items in the item room, I'm gonna be a happy camper. But I can't see either of them. It honestly makes me more mad than if I could see just one of them. Wait, did that come out right? Like if I've cursed the blind on a single floor, it's like, okay, well this is the item I'm getting no matter what, so I'm fine. But when I get it on this floor, I'm like, okay, so you're telling me I have to double like blind take from two items and I always seem to take the worst one. This time I was actually taking decent ones, so I'm not too upset. But it's just not a fun time to have to gamble. I've not gone to mother in a second. You know what? That's going to be the secret room. Thank you. And that is raw liver. One of the best health upgrades in the game. Cause it just gives you two hearts of health. Not like it's like insane or anything. It's just it's two, it's two upgrades. It's crazy. It's cool. Sun card. Another one of those items that just is so good, but doesn't do much for me. Full mapping is going to be nice. Am I going to use it? Probably not. Uh, I need as much money as I can. I might trade my bombs in for money. If I need to, I'm going to wait to do that because it's kind of dumb to do that before seeing what's in the shop. But this is definitely worth it. Okay. We've not had our little guy pay out ever, which is a little unfortunate. And why do these still have spikes? It's kind of like so inconsistent what has spikes and what doesn't. Because like all spikes should be gone. Blocks with spikes on it no longer have spikes, but moving spikes with blocks on it still have spikes. And of course, I have to take you. PhD actually would have been decent. Not that crazy, but decent. I actually have a good amount of damage right now. Still just need to make sure I have the right stuff equipped. Nice. I feel like there's buttons somewhere that I'm missing. I know there's not. It just feels like there are. Oh my gosh. Wait, I have I have something that allows me to just literally cross that and I just am not using it. That's crazy. Let's see, what else happened at work today? Oh, Hierophant is actually huge. I'm just using it because I don't have any space for cards. I was trying, I don't know. Um, it was just a good day. One of the guys that I was teaching was actually a worker at th there, which is interesting. I was like, we we're just talking. And then all of a sudden he talked to my coworker or the coworker that I had at the time. And I was like, well, they're like very buddy, buddy. I'm like, that's crazy. And it very quickly made sense. It's just like, oh yeah, we're coworkers. <gasps> and they were coworkers. Okay, good. You know what? I'm going to do something dumb right now. I'm just going to blow this up. It's going to probably be the worst decision ever. Actually turned out to be one of the better decisions. Depending on how much this coin pays out, this could have been the best decision of the run so far. And this coin will stay here until I'm done paying it out. And that's as far as it's going to pay out. The question is, do I want to... I think I want to do... I'm already at max tier 8, right? I don't know. I'm going to do this. Awaz, you're useless. You might be like, why did you do that? I just want to check. If I do want to get conjoined, I do want to get little Brimmy. Little Brimmy with the Stimmy. So we'll come back here. Come up here. Why is there a health up? Where did you come from? I will pay out a bunch of my bombs just to get some stuff from you. And if you pay out with a a bomb upgrade? That'd be cool. Also, why are you not paying out? That's crazy. Okay, never mind. You gave made me a lot of sense. Okay, st sticky bombs aren't bad. I do need a full clear now, though, because I don't have that much money. Which is not what I thought was going to happen right here. Okay, I'm still getting one cent at a time. What are you freaking crazy? Uh, last one room. Oh, I, if I was paying attention, that would have been so satisfying. It still was satisfying, but it would have been more satisfying. 
two of hearts. Guess what? You're getting popped right now. Uh, please give me money. I think I'm at max tier eight, so it doesn't even matter. It just doesn't even matter if I take this the, the screw right now. I guess. You know what? You're gone. You're out of here, buddy. Okay. You know what? Maybe I should have had you out of here. I do get a devil deal this floor though, which could go crazy. Oh, that movement? Kind of different. And we're going to come over here, come down here, come over here, go to the super secret room. And see what's in here. Uh, 100% I'm paying you out. That's pretty sick. Am I on? I am Gehenna too. My plan right there was to only take... I thought it was only to take, or I don't even know. My plan was to pay out that beggar, but it didn't work out. Oh my, no, my plan was to take the health up after I bought the, fought the boss, but that just wasn't going to work out. Um, Did I blow up the beggar already? I know I'm, I did not. Okay, fish head's not something I need. I'm just out of here. Okay, sick. I'm actually just so weak. I'll be fine. Like, I, this is an easy mother run. Especially after I get this devil deal and hopefully get one on the next floor. I might actually just use my two cards and see how high of damage I can get before the next floor. Because I don't get any more items other than, like, the boss item. Which shouldn't impact my run that greatly. Unless it's a damage up, then I would want to wait to use my strength card. The one stomp always throws me off. What is that? Um, I'll definitely take the damage up because I just do need damage. We come in here and Athame is not bad. It's not exactly what I want. How have I not gotten the luck thing? You know, what? I'm just getting you. Why not? Brimstone bombs is cool. And I feel like I, I can fight mother. I don't care. This is going to go well, no matter what. This can't go badly. Not if I'm in charge. And guess what? I am in charge. Also, I have the soul. I forgot about that. Okay, this is going to go very well. I have the soul. I'm fine. I'm literally A-OK. -okay. I don't have a lot of damage, but I will have a lot of damage. I will literally have like 10 damage after I use the devil card and the strength card. I am still just waiting to use it because I want to literally get as much damage as possible. But it is crazy that I've gotten zero use out of rock bottom so far. You might be like, no, you actually did get some use. Not yet. Not yet. If I got rid of rock bottom right now, I would have the exact same stats as I do right now. Minus like speed, maybe. I don't even know. What do we even know? Okay. Now, where can I get a crawl space? Please. Go crazy, go stupid. Okay, thank you. Range up HP down. Stop giving me HP downs. Like, that's the only thing I care about. I actually don't care about HP that much. Never mind. I take it back. I got a little wound up. Okay, you know what? Maybe it was good that I waited. All. It's not. It's not. It's all for something. It's not for nothing. Oh my gosh. Can I please get a crawl space? Why am I just. Inept. I probably should take the credit card with me. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the credit card with me. I definitely should take the credit card with me. Why am I getting money? Who cares about money? Oh my gosh, get out of here. I need to take the credit card with me to the boss fight because I can use it on the devil deal if I get a devil deal. The power pill, I will maybe use... Yeah, I'll use this. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Shoop to whoop. Shoop to whoop. Shoop to whoop. Shoop to whoop. <sighs> like, my day was just ruined. Shoop to whoop's not even like a good item. It's not even like I actually wanted shoop to whoop. It's just one of those things like, it's like a pity. I was like, I, I'll take it. I'll take you shoop to whoop. I'll be back though. I'm going to run that dry of all prizes. 
this is I've this is a bot or an enemy that you don't see too often, but it's also just not that strong. You know what? I need to take you and actually use the power pill to get health back. Is that the best time for me to use that? Most definitely not. Am I immune to I am immune to poison because I have Bob's curse. I'm actually so cool and awesome. Okay, where's like an artifact on the ground that I can like st stick my shovel in so I can get some cool stuff? So if you didn't know, you do, you do have poison immunity because of Bob's curse, which is actually just like one of the main reasons why it's actually like a half decent item. There we go. There's a crawl space. There's like a little Omega on the ground. I didn't even know that was an option. If I've known that, I would have done that eons ago. Okay. Ooh. If only you actually functioned the way I would hope you functioned. Actually, no, because it just doesn't get me plus three luck. I might take that with me instead of the spike one, though. That's actually pretty decent. Yeah, I feel like I take this because I do have... I do have Athame. So this with Athame could be decent. Now, is Athame a luck-based tier effect, or is it just a... It happens if it happens. I need this Devil Deal game. I need it. I require it. It'd be quite useful to me. And my goodness. C-section with technology is pretty fun. I was thinking about getting C-section earlier because we had technology. I'm glad I didn't. Aw, man. That's actually not good. It's not terrible or anything, but it's just not ideal. Okay. I know I just got rid of the item that says no more spikes, but you could have like at least held off on actually giving me spikes. The whole concept was I was never going to see spikes again. Okay, this should be the super secret room, I feel like. Yeah, there we go. Super secret room has been found, but not super useful. Please give me the devil deal. Oh my gosh, you just got circumnavigated. You might be like, is that even the right word? Yes, I think it is. Okay, that's the Joker card, which is freaking legit. Because look at this. I can use credit card right now and be a happy camper. Oh my gosh. This is like, this is the run. This is it, guys. This is this is what we've been waiting for. Um, we take Bloody Gus and we don't take Damocles because it's actually not useful for us. I'll take you and guess what? Watch this. We do that. It gulps what we didn't want. We come out here. We take the range up. And we're about to concoct the most crazy of plans we possibly can. And we use this. To get sync we go bondo no that's fine that's fine that's fine that wasn't part of our plan we didn't need that it wasn't part of the vision now what we do is we need to take damage until our tier rate gets as high up as it possibly can get and that was not part of the plan but that works as the full health uh we need the devil card we also need the other damage up card which is the strength card uh and i might as well spend my money on you i believe Can you please just pay out one day? Like, I feel like it's not like a crazy ask for an item just to like, you know, give me something. Like, I, I want shoot. I don't want to take shoot to it with me. It's it's literally a pity pay, and it won't do it for me. Like, game, understand? Shoot to fell off, ions ago, ions eons ago, and ions. You know what? It fell off in every way. Nobody wants it. It's just bad now. How how it's fallen from grace. Okay, here's the plan. Once again, we're trying to get our stats as high as possible. So we need to take as much damage as possible. And this is how we do it. Okay, I think we're at the max amount of... Yes, we are at the max. Okay, Balls of Steel actually is good. Yeah, we, our tier rate can't go any higher. So we'll use Ball of Steel. Take this. Take you. Come in here. And we're going, we're going to use this in a specific order. I think because actually judgment dang it uh empress is a 2.35 damage up so we want to do empress the the devil card and then the strength card so we get 14. you know what 
Dang, I really want you to get paid out. Is that gonna happen? Probably not. That's unfortunate. Okay, there's another red heart. I am just gonna go grab another trinket. Actually, I don't even care about any of those trinkets that are on the ground right now. Do I wanna pay you out anymore? I mean, I do, but I'm not, I'm gonna do it once. Why? Cause it's, I wish we could pay it out. Now this has turned into a pretty decent run. 14 damage isn't too bad. It's not ideal, but we actually just saw something on our screen that made, means that we might be able to do something crazy. Just maybe this could get a little wild. Okay. So you guys don't see what I see. Um, there is a uh, sacrifice room. Now, what are, what's so important about sacrifice room? You can actually use that to fight mother and go to dark room in the same run. Now, are we going to do that? Maybe if we have enough health, we're in a kind of sticky, sticky pickle where, uh, oh my gosh, how did that not function? There was literally something on the ground. Uh, we're in a st sticky situation where we don't have a lot of health. But if we can get more health, we should be fine. Good. That is a ghost chest. You're dead. That is a balls of steel, which is actually quite good. I'm going to use the ace of diamonds soon. I actually cannot use the... That sucks. I can't actually use the sacrifice room because I have flat file consumed. That's unfortunate. Well, I will use... I'll use you. So it doesn't matter when I use you. And we are pretty much... We've, we have ran the end of our course. I do want to try to use the shovel one more time. I just need to use it in the correct spot. I don't know what I'm doing so wrong. The game really does not like how I'm trying to use the... Trying to use it. Well, so we do have sticky bombs, which is pretty nice. Oh my gosh. Super secret room, you're here you have to be right sorry this is the way this is the way it has to crumble brother and why am i getting as much money as possible i don't even know i'm so used to getting money on this run at this point that it's just ingrained in me do i want flight i probably do want flight okay there's a weird dot on the ground which means yes crawl space awesome now, Gemini, you're useless, but no matter what item I got right here, it'd be kind of useless because I can't get any higher damage than I have right now. And this is just a weird run. We do have, like, good tier 8. 8.2 tier 8's not bad. But, like, these are pretty pitiful stats for Rock Bottom. Still great. Still great for a regular run, for any run. But, like, we are Rock Bottom enjoyers, and we expect the most out of it. If we, when we don't get the most, we say, this is why Rock Bottom... It's not the best of the best. No kizzy. Um, I don't see any tinted rocks. And it's also really hard to tell when there's a tinted rock. Oh, I want you. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, I wanted you and I got it to you. I could just bomb myself to get red heart health. I don't know what I've been doing this whole time. I, I've, I've been able to lose health quite easily for a while. I just chose not to, I guess. And a strength card could be interesting. I mean, it's not going to help us, really. Ever. But we can pretend it would have helped. And I did not go to the last room, which is fine. But yeah, we can't get any higher damage than we have right now. Because our actual damage stat that would be affected is a lot lower than what we really have. Okay, here we go. As you see, we only got a range up from that. If you know, then you know. If you know how Rock Bottom works, then you know how it works. I made a video on it. If you want to have a, like a detailed explanation of how it works, I've explained it too many times for me to want to explain anymore. Nice. Crazy. Awesome, maybe. And there we go. There's nothing else we can do on this run because we can't actually sacrifice. We can't get a crawl space. But that right there was a super good run. Any Rock Bottom run... It's going to be pretty decent. You're going to get at least get some sort of stats that are better than normal. And we got, I mean, better damage than some runs. Really good tier rate. So can't complain too much. That right there is the video. Win number 317 in a row. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel. It helps me grow. Thank you guys all for watching. And as always, it's been Preets. Peace out.